to Mum on Mondays. I hope you've been enjoying them so far. But for something a little bit different, I thought I would tell you guys a little story. So back last year in April, May time, Paisley started to get a bit unwell. He was six months old at the time and he was up all night screaming. He had a really high temperature, um, which would be controlled slightly by medication. I was giving him the maximum doses of both Calpol and Nurofen. So he had paracetamol and ibuprofen. I couldn't give him any more. Um, his temperature would come down for like half an hour, then it would shoot back up again. And it was around 40 or slightly above. So it, it was a worrying temperature. I um, I'd be up all night with him screaming. I thought it was teething and I was like, oh my God, how is it this bad? Like I knew teething was gonna be bad, but I didn't know it was gonna be this bad. Um, his breathing wasn't quite right as well. Um, he would f feed off me, but he would just, he wasn't himself. Um, I took him to the doctors. They dismissed it as viral and doctors know best, don't they? So, so okay, they just said, keep doing as you're doing. As long as he's taking milk, then he's fine. Um, so I carried on, a few more days went by and it was in the middle of the night and I was really worried. He, um, I was sitting on the sofa and, like in the dark holding him and to me he, he seemed like he was having a seizure. He tensed up and was kind of shaking, like kind of his jaw would lock and he'd be like, uh, and I panicked. So I, I phoned, I didn't want to phone 999, but I phoned 111, which if you don't have that, that's like our NHS call line, you call them and they can give you advice and decide whether you need to see someone or call an ambulance. So I called them, doctor phoned back quite quickly and he said, okay, you, you need to take him down to A&E. So, okay, so I woke Ben up and we went down to the hospital. We were waiting for ages. They gave him some more medicine. And by the time they'd come to check on him, he'd pepped up a little bit. So he, he checked him over and he said, no, nope, just viral. I said, okay, but he had what I thought was a seizure and I described it to him and the doctor said, it sounds to me like something called rigors, which I'd not heard of before. And so I'll tell you guys what rigors are just in case so you can tell the difference. Rigors are basically the equivalent of shivering, but when your temperature is too high. So it's your body's way of trying to bring your temperature back down, which is, is brilliant. His body was doing exactly what it should have been doing. So he, yeah, he got, we got told to go home. Took him home another couple of days later. He hadn't got any better. I called 111 again and we went and saw a out of hours GP did all the same things and again dismissed it as viral also bear in mind over all this time I'm not getting hardly any sleep because Ben's going to work so I'm having to allow him to sleep and he when he gets him from work he's allowed he's able to give me a couple of hours but um, I was breastfeeding so Ben couldn't feed Paisley um, yeah, so I think it was another couple of days, I phoned 111 again, and they got us another appointment out of hours. I went to see that GP, and she made me a little bit angry. She really dismissed it and said there's nothing wrong with him. And as a mum, you know in your, your gut, like, my baby isn't right. I, after all of that, I'm a huge believer in a mother's instinct. You know when your baby's not right. These medical professionals are amazing at what they do, but sometimes you've got to go over your instincts and just keep pushing until you get an answer. So after about two weeks and things getting progressively worse, um, I, I think I'd been out walking the streets of Paisley at like three in the morning trying to get him to sleep, just trying to soothe him and help him in any way I could. I am... Um, 
it was seven o'clock in the morning and I noticed he'd started to develop a bit of a cough. So I took a slow walk over to the doctor's surgery. I knew that they opened at eight, so I took a slow walk over there. I think we'd get in nice and early. Um, didn't tell Ben we'd go and he was still in bed and he, while we were in the waiting area, Paisley all of a sudden his temperature felt like it just skyrocketed. He went bright red, he was that hot and his breathing started to get laboured. Also, that's another thing with rigors. Their breathing gets um, gets laboured when they've got a temperature. Um, it, yeah, so I ran over to the reception desk and said, "Look, I can't wait. He needs to be seen now. He's really not well." And they took one look at him and said, "Okay, go through." We got taken through. Um, a nurse came and put a little thing on his finger to do his oxygen levels and took his temperature. The doctor comes straight in and said he needs oxygen. So I put an oxygen mask on him and they said, um, how did you get here? I said, I walked. They said, okay, we've got ambulance on the way. We're taking him to hospital. And in a way I was relieved. It was like, finally someone is looking after my baby. But panic set in as well. And I, I didn't know what was going on. I was there on my own with him. Um, I hadn't washed. Um, was in some clothes that I just chucked on from the clothes era. I hadn't slept properly in two weeks and yeah, the ambulance turned up and they rushed us off to hospital. I phoned Ben on the way and said, look, and, they, and I said, I don't know what it is, but you need to get here. So he called his mum and they were then, they didn't arrive a lot, a lot longer after us. Um, and the paediatricians, up there and the consultants are amazing um they did an x-ray on his chest and found he had pneumonia and when you hear the word pneumonia and you've not experienced that before you panic and don't know like what what how severe it is or how not severe um for those of you that don't know pneumonia is just a form of chest infection it's a severe chest infection, but most people can have oral antibiotics and it can be treated at home. Um, so they were like they were all rushing around Paisley. Um, there was doctors, nurses. Um, I was crying my eyes out. He was in my arms, limp, and I. Sorry if I get emotional. <laughs> um, I thought I was going to lose my little boy. Um, he just looked so poorly and so unwell, and yeah, I. I start to think, what have I done wrong? Um, I really hope he's okay. And I actually lost my temper with Ben and his mum because they were just asking loads of questions, like, what's wrong with him? Is he going to be okay? And I just, I said, it's words to the effect of, shut up and let them do their job. Our questions can wait. They need to look after Paisley right now. And I had to put Paisley down and take myself self off to the bathroom just to compose myself because I thought, hang on, this isn't about me. As scared as I am and worried, I need to be strong for my little boy. He needs his mum. Um, and yeah, it, it's a horrible experience watching your little boy go through all that, having cannulas fitted. I think he ended up having eight cannulas all in all because um, they kept collapsing and the sheer fear in his eyes having them done was horrible. Um, but yeah, after 24 hours and once I got some fluids and some antibiotics into him, he was like a new child, <laughs> it was like him again. And um, yeah, they, the doctor came round and said, he's, I can't believe it's the same baby. Like he's, he's responded really, really well. Um, and then they said, okay, um, tonight we're going to discharge you, you can have some more antibiotics and we'll, if you've got any problems, come back, we'll give you open access till Wednesday. So we had a couple of days, if anything's wrong, we'd come straight back, wouldn't have to go through GP again. Um, we were home for three hours and Paisley's temperature skyrocketed again. And I, I didn't feel comfortable having him at home, so I, we took him back. We were re-admitted and we actually ended up being there for eight days. Um, 
just to give you a gauge of how poorly Paisley was, um, his blood work showed like the infection levels normally for normal people around seven his was something like 114 so he was he was a really poorly little boy and um yeah i'm, I'm so grateful and thankful to the nhs for everything they did for him and yeah i'll be eternally grateful <laughs> like i said before always trust your motherly instincts they're normally right um it's weird how it's built in and I don't know how it works but it does and you know your baby better than anyone you grew them in your body you gave birth to them and you've been with them every moment since they've been born if you think something's not right it, it normally isn't <sighs> um, but yeah no Paisley's great he um there's no lasting effects of pneumonia he, um, it, just, it sounds really scary, doesn't it? Um, I thought maybe he might have trouble with his lungs in the future, but they said it shouldn't affect it. Um, the only difference is if Paisley goes to the doctors, they're a lot quicker to give him antibiotics than they are other children that haven't had pneumonia. Just because I think they don't want it to develop into that, because maybe he's a bit more open to getting it again. I'm not sure, but fingers crossed he's he's not had anything since um and yeah so there's a little story i'll put a little compilation of videos of at the time when paisley was poorly and some pictures so you can see our little journey actually visually um the quality won't be as good as the video because they are from my phone and i don't know if it will affect people in the same way it affected me but they they, they might be a little bit upsetting to see him when he was poorly so just maybe don't watch if you're easily upset but I'm doing this more for awareness and just to tell people to trust your instincts but thank you so much for watching guys um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see more Mama Mondays videos or family vlogs um, they should be a lot better now I've got my new camera. If you've got any ideas of things you'd like me to talk about in Mama Mondays, they'd be greatly appreciated because there's only a certain amount of things that I can think of. <laughs> or if there's anything you'd like to know about me or the family, then yeah, ask away. I don't even mind doing a Q and A. Um, some questions come through, but yeah, take care, guys. Have a great week, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> so I'm feeling so much better already. <coughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> 